tonight. It's RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 7. It's a social media dance challenge. Jada Essence Hall slays the runway. This is Reality Reflex. Hey everyone, this is your host Tedley and going into tonight, Jada Essence Hall is the only queen to have three stars. If you don't have star quality, Baby. get the f out of here. The only queens left with only one star are Monet Exchange and Shea Coulee. Fuck my drag. RuPaul comes out and announces that this week it's a social media dance challenge. I did not sign up for this. And then came the runway. As usual, I only talk about my absolute favorite looks. I don't talk about the negative ones because I feel there's too much negativity in this fan base. First up was Shea Coulee, who provided us an all blue fantasy. From the first like fur covered look, to the second like negligee 1950s, to the ass bearing blue gown. Jada Essence Hall came out and she rocked four different head to toe looks. She was giving winter, spring, summer, and fall, each with their own unique looks the dress changed and changed and changed over and over again. Yes, bitch, work. Then out came Raja who gave us acid trip fantasy. Her look had three main different reveals, like her hair switched at the end, but she had a crazy pink flamingo on. It was truly like a 60s and 70s dream come true. Then we had Jinx Monsoon who came out doing art era realness. She came doing different looks for several different artistic movements throughout the ages, and she wore them all fantastically. This was out of Jinx's typical visual perspective. However, it was fabulous. Lastly, we have Monet exchange with a message, Harriet Tubman, and then it evolved into the Black Panther movement, so she was doing a storyline perspective, and from there, it was a message that we will still fight on. And it was so well done. It looks so fucking good. And like RuPaul said herself, it's like this show is a platform. Use it to share a message. And this was beautiful. The fans at home were immediately obsessed with Jada Essence Hall and her epic four looks. When we heard that Jada Essence Hall did four seasons in one day, we presume she was cast on the next few series of Drag Race UK. I'm screaming. Jada Essence Hall just gave us one of the best runways ever on Drag Race. They eat her up every single time. The performances played during the judging and the fans were obsessed once again with Jinx Monsoon. Jinx Monsoon is truly, truly one of a kind. Jinx and her dance challenge unalived me. It was genius. She is the wittiest queen of them all. Thank you. Jinx Monsoon and Monet Exchange won the challenge. This means that Monet Exchange now has two stars and Jinx Monsoon joins Jada Essence Hall as a three star queen. This episode will be quite memorable because this lip sync was not a song. It was a spoken word lip sync of a designing women monologue and it was a revolutionary drag experience. Monet Exchange definitely out lip sang Jinx Monsoon surprisingly, but she was giving everything to do this performance and it was fabulous. So Monet Exchange took it home. The way this was Monet's episode, like she truly owned it. Monet used her power to finally block Raja, who was the last queen to not be blocked. Well, did you not or did you not come for me today? Well, all right, everybody, that is my review for this week. I'll see you next time next week for more Reality Reflex.